good morning. Today we're going to uh, build a little coop. We finish, we're going to finish the little chicken coop for the, uh, the smaller chickens that are pullets uh, as they get ready to move into the big uh, laying pen. And then also we're going to clean our garden up and move some cows around. So we're going to have a good day. We just want you to join us and come along. halfway done with it so they're really almost done with it and that's good so we can let them out and we're glad that it's almost done so then they'll be done with it So they've really gotten it um, done. They're just adding a few more parts to it and they'll be done. But they're really close to being done. All right, so we finished the little coop. Finally got it done. It's been a project for months and we just, just had to get it done. So it's done, got one little chicken in there. She, she came on out, but the rest are not curious enough to come out yet. Mommy's finishing the rest of it. Harley's been helping. Aiden's going to get some more hay. We have raked out the chicken coop. Let's go find this compost is. It's been beautiful. So we're going to go and load it up and put it up, put some new fresh hay in here. So that way it will be looking good. And also we'll have great compost to go around those beds over there. If you notice, we made a video and I don't know if you remember, but we made a video talking about how bad this soil was. Well, we added some compost last week, some more chicken fertilizer. And already these tomatoes have, have come up probably a good six inches from just four or five days ago. So it shows that just natural fertilizing, uh, amending the ground with manure, the, the chicken and the, the hog manure and also the cow manure uh, has helped this bed. We're going to put the rest of it right here too. That way we can see if we can get the rest of this growing. Our garlic's almost gone. But basically these tomatoes are here. And we're going to plant a few more tomatoes, but we want to make sure the soil is amended good. So we're going to go ahead and put some more fertilizer right there and also anywhere else that needs it. Come on, Allie girl. See, she's getting ready very soon. I think she's pretty heavy bred. She's bagging up. I mean, she's just a, I mean, she's, she shouldn't be bagging up that much if she's only four or five months bred. So I think she's bred a little bit farther than we thought. Look how healthy she looks. She's a good looking jersey. They've got this whole paddock to themselves since the bull is with uh, Elsa. They've done a good job on it, but it's still got tons of grass. They ain't even started over there. We have some happy helpers today. Um, seriously, it's Father's Day, and um, we had a wonderful day today at church, and we've got some things to do out in the yard, so... We, so we are working on the chicken coop, Harley showed you that, and we've got uh, lots of okra to go pick in the garden, I'll we'll say it's a lot, it's enough to feed us for a supper, so we're just going to go get that. That's what we like. It's still nice and soft. And we're going to see how much we get. 
Um, our plants are still kind of small, um, but they're putting off pretty heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and, and get a batch of okra. This will be our first batch of okra um, from the garden. So we just got done picking. This is our first okra harvest. And um, we got enough for maybe a supper or two. So we're super excited about that. Some of our plants are still small, but they started putting off. So we went ahead and um, picked those. And I like to get some before they get too big. I know okra can grow, grow pretty big, but um, the bigger it gets, sometimes the harder it gets. So um, we went ahead and picked some okra and we got a pretty good basket uh, for a meal. So we're glad of that. Happy homesteading, y'all.